Hey, it's Nathan with CareerZoneMarketing.com. In this video, we're gonna take a look at some of the manual shipping options within ClickFunnels 2.0, and we're actually gonna create a free plus shipping offer as well. So let's go ahead and get into it. First things first, we need a product that we wanna do a free plus shipping offer with. So I'm just gonna create one real quick. So we wanna make sure that we have a physical product selected, and we'll just call this book, and I'm not gonna enter a description. We'll go ahead and create a product. And then we need to do a one-time price, or you can do whatever, I guess. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go ahead and set it for $0, though. And we'll go ahead and set the price. So we're doing a free plus shipping book offer here. And that's good enough for right now. Now we need to go to our shipping option. So we'll go to settings here, and we'll go to shipping right here. And we need to go ahead and create a shipping profile. So go ahead and click on create shipping profile. And this will be a free book plus shipping profile that I'm gonna create. And I'll go ahead and select the product then. And we're gonna go ahead and select the book product that I have. So we'll go ahead and select. And then I need to go ahead and create the profile. And as you might've noticed, you could go ahead and clear the products or also select multiple products. If you have multiple products that you wanna do a free plus shipping offer for, or even if you're not doing a free plus shipping offer, if you're just applying shipping to you know a collection of products, you could go ahead and select multiple products here. So now we get into shipping zones and we have shipping from. So depending on your locations that you've set up within your ClickFunnels account, you may have different options right here, but I just have one, so it just says anywhere. So if you have multiple locations you could ship from, you would go ahead and update your locations here. But the more important part is shipping to. So we need to go ahead and create different shipping zones depending on where we're shipping. So we might do create shipping zone and we have to give our zone a name. So I'm gonna call this United States. And then we go ahead and select what countries we want to include in this particular zone. And of course, I named it United States, so you can guess. I'm going to search for the United States, and I'll go ahead and tick United States and United States Minor Outlying Islands as well. And we'll go ahead and create a zone. And then within this zone, we have to go ahead and add some rates, or at least one rate. So I'll go ahead and add a rate. And we have two options right here. We can set our own rate, and in this video, we're doing manual settings, so we're going to set our own. But we want to go ahead and select our rate name, and I'm going to go ahead and add a new rate name. And I'll go ahead and call this Standard Shipping. And let's say that I want to go ahead and set it for $6.00. 95 cents and you could also go ahead and add conditions as well and so under the products section you could go ahead and decide what weight you want to give to your various products and of course that would be used to help you calculate the shipping or you could also add a condition based on the order price so if you want to charge more or less for shipping based on order price you could go ahead and select this option right here so maybe if the order price is over hundred dollars well then they are allowed to have free shipping so there are some pretty flexible options right here but I'm gonna leave no conditions we just have standard shipping for 695 and we'll go ahead and create the rate. And so anybody that pops in with a US address will be charged the standard shipping rate. I could go ahead and add, you know, expedited shipping if I wanted to. So we could go expedited shipping and maybe I charge $9.95 if someone selects that and then I ship it out, you know, at a faster speed. And then we probably wanna create another shipping zone for other countries outside of the United States. So we'll say rest of world. And then you can guess where I'm gonna select here is rest of world. So we'll go ahead and create the zone here. So basically what you wanna do is any countries that you want to uniquely select shipping prices for, you would go ahead and separate them out into different zones. And then you would have like a catch-all for the rest of the world. So maybe you mainly ship to the United States and Canada. So you'd have a United States one right here and you would mark down the prices that you wanna go ahead and use. And then you'd also have a zone of Canada and it would have its own different prices so that way you're not losing money when you ship products up to Canada. And then rest of the world, we'll go ahead and add a rate. And I know that shipping outside of the US and Canada is quite expensive. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and call this international shipping. And this is going to be $14.95 to ship internationally. And then I'll go ahead and create a rate. And so there we go, I have my various shipping options for my book product right here. Now I wanna go back to my funnel and I need to go ahead and sync everything up. So I'm gonna open up my full sales funnel right here and I'm gonna go ahead and edit it. And I know it's ugly, but it's functional. And that's all that matters in my particular case right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on settings then. And I wanna go ahead and make sure that I am selling my book off right here. So I'm gonna edit the products. 
and I'll delete out that one and add in my book offer, which is the free book. So we have book and I'm gonna go ahead and click on update and then I can go ahead and close out of this. And then I also wanna make sure that I turn on my shipping options. So I have shipping options right here and I wanna go ahead and turn those on so people could select the different shipping options that are available to them. And so now that that is on, I'll go ahead and click on save and then I'm gonna go ahead and back out of here. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this link and then I'm gonna open a new incognito window and we'll go ahead and enter our funnel. And I need to fill out this information right here. And for the address, I'm gonna select one in the United States so we can see what pops up. I'll go ahead and click on next. And now I can see my book. It is free, right? It's a free book, but they have to pay for shipping. So I have standard shipping at $6.95 and expedited shipping at $9.95. So it automatically plugs in the appropriate shipping options based off of the location and product that people select. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go back real quick and we're gonna try and change the address to somewhere in a foreign country. So I found an address in Australia. We'll go ahead and click on next. And we can see that the international shipping option popped up now for $14.95. So that's how you can go ahead and test to make sure that your shipping options are popping up properly. And of course, it is based on the address that somebody enters in on this first tab right here. And so everything appears to be working correctly. And that is pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. And if you did, I appreciate it. So likes, comments, subscribes, and or head over to crazyeyemarketing.com. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.